Uh, hey guys, what's up? It's Matt. Um, I got a question this morning uh, or late last night from Muhammad. Uh, uh, this, this is the problem. Um, he wanted to know, um, given the profit function P of X equals uh, 5600 plus uh, 85X squared minus X to the third minus 200,000, um, find the number of items X uh, to produce the maximum profit P of X uh, and then find the maximum profit. Um, now if this were a quadratic, uh, which it's not, we could tell it's a third degree um, polynomial, uh, it would be very simple. We just kind of graph the quadratic right, and look for the maximum profit. Um, and if we didn't know how to do that, we could always use the, this formula. Um, to find the number of products x, and we plug it back in. Uh, the problem is that this is not a quadratic, okay? Um, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take a little bit different approach. You could use a calculator uh, and go to the table function and uh, go ahead and find that maximum, but uh, knowing Lehman College, Muhammad's probably not allowed to use a calculator, so we're gonna have to take a kind of a different route. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little basic calculus and we're going to find um, where the slope is equal to zero. So just real quick recap. Um, this is a trinomial, uh, which means that it's going to um, you know, start, start up and then down. It'll probably look something like this. Um, and what we want to know is we want to know this value right here. Um, well, any, uh, any derivative we take will tell us um, where our slope is equal to zero. Okay? And remember, uh, we have a positive slope. It goes up like this. A negative slope goes down like this, and a zero slope is a flat line. Okay, so what we want is we want to know these two points right here. One of them for us is going to be more important than the other. Um, we want the maximum one, not the minimum one. Again, this is a local maximum, right? Because it actually the, the real maximum is infinity; it kind of keeps going up and up and up and up and up. Uh, and the real minimum will be negative infinity because this keeps going down and down and down. So we want the local maximum and the local minimum. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our function, um, we're going to take the derivative of our function, and then we are going to set it equal to zero. The cool part is the derivative of our function will be a quadratic, which will make this um, fairly easy to work with. Um, so let's get rid of all this stuff over here. Leave just the function. I'm going to clean my whiteboard. All right. So let's start by rewriting this in a little more standard form. So say p of x um, in descending order. Notice that your first term, your x cubed, uh, is negative, which is good. Um, if it was positive, we probably wouldn't be able to do this. But that's OK. That's a, that's a whole other video. OK. So again, um, if you don't know how to take a derivative, uh, you're probably not going to know what's going on here. Um, you can look up some other videos, maybe I'll make one about that too. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're take the derivative of this. Um, 3 times negative 1 is going to be negative 3. 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. Uh, 2 times 85 is going to be 170. 2 minus 1 is going to be 1. And 1 times 5600 is going to be 5600. This term goes bye bye. Okay, so all we're left with is this. Um, and so what we want to do is uh, we now um, want to find out where this equals zero, okay? Because this is now going to tell us the slope. So back to what I was saying before, um, this function is going to tell us the backwards. Sorry, guys. This function is going to tell us um, the slope, okay? So if we set it equal to zero, this is one place where the slope is equal to zero, and this is the other place where the slope is equal to zero. Um, if at any point we get a negative number, we need to reject that because remember X is a number of products sold. So if X is a negative number, we can't very well sell negative products. We'd go out of business really fast. Um, so now we can start looking for factors of this. Um, for most of you guys, probably the easiest thing to do is going to be to plug it into the quadratic. Okay, so we're going to have uh, X equals uh, negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC. Um, all over 2a. Uh, again, 
you could factor this. Um, it's not divisible by three or anything like that, or negative three, so it would be a little bit harder. You could complete the square. I don't know why in God's name you'd want to do that, um, but let's go ahead and let's plug this in. Okay, so remember this is A, this is B, this is C. So A is equal to negative three, B is equal to 170, and C is equal to 5,600. Um, so negative B is going to have a negative 170 plus or minus the square root of uh, 170 squared minus 4 times negative 3 times 5600. Um, don't be scared by the big numbers more often than not, uh, especially if you're taking a testing like that. Uh, you will have at least a basic calculator. If not, then, you know, it's just numbers, guys. Don't be too scared um, all over this, okay? Um, all right. So, again, I like to break this down to chunks. Uh, this is going to be negative 170 plus or minus. Okay, I'm going to do uh, 170 squared. I'm cheating. I'm using a calculator. You're on your own in this one, guys. Um, this is going to be 2,900. Um, negative 4 times negative 3 times 5,600 will be equal to... Uh, positive, negative, negative makes positive, positive uh, 6, 67,200 um, all over. This one I can do without a calculator. 2 times negative 3 is going to be negative 6. Good. Um, let's take this a step further. Let's combine these two and take the square root of that. Um, so I have this, this. Um, this was inside here will equal 96,100 uh, and hopefully that's a perfect square it is it's 310 so negative 170 plus or minus uh, 310 divided by negative 6 okay uh, again I'm gonna have two different answers that come out of here um, you see I'm running out of room on the paper so I'm gonna kind of continue this uh, up over here. Um, I'm going to have two answers come out. One's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. So I have negative 170 uh, plus 310 divided by negative 6. Okay, so I have 140, 140 over negative 6, um, which is going to equal negative 23.3. Um, I'm going to have another answer, and that's going to be x is equal to negative 170 minus 310 should be negative 480 over negative 6, uh, which is going to equal 80. Okay? Um, the key part is here that we don't want the negative answer. The negative answer does us absolutely no good because, again, x is the number of products. Even though we're finding the slope here, x is still the number of products. We don't care about this, so we're going to reject this as a negative. Sorry about my handwriting, I don't teach English. Um, so this is the number we want, okay? So this is the number of products. So what we have to go back now and do is, we have the number of products. This is your answer for the first part. The first part asks you how many products you have to sell. Well, 80 made our slope equal to zero, right? Which is where the maximum profit was, okay? Now, to get the number of products sold, we actually have to plug this number back into our original function. Don't plug it into this function, not this one. You have to plug it into your original function, okay? So we're going to go ahead and erase this, and we're going to plug it back in, and we're going to find our maximum profit, and you'll be done with this problem. Okay? All right. So let's plug it in. We'll say uh, P of 80 equals negative 80 squared plus 85 times 80 squared plus 56. Oh, I'm going to run out of room, ladies and gentlemen. 80 minus 200,000. Okay. So again, let's continue this. Let's break down each one. Um, 80 squared uh, is going to be negative 6,400. Oh, it's 80 to the third power. Sorry. Uh, so 80 to the third power, equal that, so we're going to have, wow, 
negative 512,000 uh, plus we have 80 squared, uh -huh, I know 6400 times 85 is going to be um, uh, 544. Uh, we have 580 is going to be 448,000 minus 200,000. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Um, so then let's go ahead and let's just do this. You could have plugged this all into your calculator at one time. Um, I'm doing this in anticipation that you guys don't have a calculator. Um, and your final answer, P of 80, would equal uh, $280,000, okay? So that's your final answer. Uh, your number of products you need to sell is 80. Again, we found that by using the derivative of our function. We found the derivative of our function. We found where the slope was equal to zero. We only took the positive value because we don't care about the negative value. Um, so we took the positive value, then we plugged it back into our original. It's a big mistake people make. Plug it back into your original, okay? Because remember, that's how much profit you make based on how many products you sold. You sold 80 products to maximize your profit, therefore your maximum profit would be uh, $280,000, okay? So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, Muhammad, good luck. Uh, if you guys need a killer Uber driver, Muhammad is the best. Um, and uh, good luck to you all, God bless, and I'll talk to you guys soon.